If you are a fan of deep bass and need a Bluetooth speaker, well, stick around because you're going to want to see this. This is the Treblab HD360 Pro. They call it the 360 Pro because music comes from everywhere. As we turn the speaker, we can see that there are four windows and behind each window is a massive bass radiator. But what you can't see is down here in the bottom, there is a 50 watt subwoofer. And up here on top, we have four 10 watt full range drivers and an additional four passive radiators. In case you lost count, that is eight passive radiators and a subwoofer. Forgive the shadows and reflections, but check out this control panel. I've never seen anything like it. It's a touch screen. And you would think with all this space, you would not have any more dual function buttons, but you do. The plus and the minus still control volume and track control. And the play pause button also controls the equalizer. But other than that, I think we're good. The equalizer has three settings, balanced, 3D, and bass boost. If you are listening to deep, deep bass music, do not use bass boost. It will not help you. It, it just, it makes it sound bad. Put it on balanced for deep bass music. If you're listening to normal music, then just go ahead and use bass boost. You probably need all the help you can get. I couldn't figure out what 3D mode did. It sounded the same to me, but maybe I'm missing something. The biggest complaint I get in my videos is that I do not demonstrate the speakers. I don't, I, I, I normally don't, but I just, I kind of have to here, so. These interlocking chain links symbolize TWS. Yes, this speaker controls TWS for more mayhem. This kind of stumped me. It says NFC. I've never seen any other speaker advertise support for NFC. I, I need to look into this, I guess. This microphone controls the hands-free calling options. I suggest that you control them by not using them because it doesn't sound very good. That's, you're not getting this for hands-free calling. You're getting this for pounding bass. These five dots represent volume level. I know you're not going to want to hear this, but I would suggest just taking it down just a hair, four dots. You try it. I, I just think four dots sound better. If you look at the manufacturer's photos, you will see a picture of this speaker underwater. Do not do that. This is IPX4 water resistant and IPX4 is barely water resistant. I would not bring this anywhere near water. The HD360 is about the size of a human head, but oddly enough, only half the weight. That's right, five pounds. And I think most of that weight is speaker magnets, but some of it's gotta be the massive 15,600 milliamp hour battery. That's going to give you 22 hours of playback on a two hour charge. You might be saying to yourself, I'm going to listen to nothing but bass at full volume. There's no way I'm getting 22 hours of playback out of that speaker. Well, you're probably right, but let me offer a suggestion. Try listening to your favorite song at 60% volume and see if you don't like it better. At 60%, you're going to hear more nuance. At 100%, yeah, it's going to be loud, but try the 60 and see if you don't like it better. And if you do like it better, you'll probably get that 22 hours of playback. The HD360 Pro is portable in the sense that it can be moved, but they don't encourage it. There are no handles on the speaker. Yes, there are base radiator windows, but I don't think you want to carry it by that. You might damage the radiators. And so you're basically, you're holding it like this or like this, and it's just five pounds of awkward. I think this speaker is really designed to be set in one place and just left alone. This is a living room speaker, a dorm room speaker, a gaming room speaker, just, Move it if you want to, but I... One thing you might be asking yourself is, where is the power button? Well, if you look very closely, it's nowhere, it's not on here. <laughs> you have to come down here to the bottom of the speaker and it's right here in, in this nice, basically unlabeled thing. And I had to look for it in the manual, but it, it's... Once you know where it is, you never have to figure it out again. Next to the power button, we have a rubber plug that covers 
the charging port and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. I love it when speaker manufacturers do something just a little bit different and the HD360 Pro is full of differences. But one that is not part of the speaker itself is that they give you a USB-A to USB-C cable and a USB-C to USB-C cable. You take your pick, whatever charger you have. They also include a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input cable, but that's pretty common. What do I think of the HD360 Pro? If you are a fan of deep bass, this speaker deserves serious consideration. If you're a fan of any other kind of music, it's going to sound good, but you won't be taking advantage of what this speaker was designed to do. I'm going to give this a four out of five star rating. If you get a pair of these and put them in TWS mode, you might convince me to go five out of five stars just because it would just be such an amazing experience. Thanks for stopping by.